Because, again, I am with you. I've known Russell. He was one of our, uh, when this show is just a mere podcast on NFL Network, um, he was uh, a guest that was a late ad for our season kickoff because he got the gig in Seattle when it yeah. was, you know, like Matt Flynn's job. It was supposed to be Matt Flynn's job, right? He got the gig. And I'm like, I got to see what this kid's all about. And he was terrific. And then he showed up on NFL Network on game day morning, one of our playoff um, shows. He was first in. He was first in, and he beat mm -hmm. me to work. He was showing me up, you know. And then, <laughs> and then he, uh, after appearing on it, sent a handwritten note with an autographed jersey to me, you know, yeah. thanking uh, me uh, for the experience, as if I was the one who hired him or let him. And, you know, it was so he is first class all the way. I have seen all yes. that, but I, I think some of the things that rub people the wrong way when you're saying that they feel like he's a little fugazi, yeah. um, and in this particular instance is. Uh, that he's showing up to Pittsburgh and saying black and gold, here we go. In the same way that he showed up to Denver, like Broncos country, let's ride. Like where he, he where, where he shows up, he's going to say like uh, his go Hawk stuff worked in Seattle. So he's going to do yeah. that in Denver and he's going to do that in Pittsburgh. And the Denver and Pittsburgh stops in the end of the Seattle stop have not like been the same of the go Hawks era. And maybe right. he should try something different. Instead, I think Stephen A. even had a similar point of saying, like, he should act like his career's on the line. And right. instead, he just does it the way that he does it. And I think that rubs people the wrong way. Yeah. Robert. And, and Rich, you put you this is why you're one of the best in the business, man. Not only have you always been great to guys like myself and very supportive of the Thank guys you. that are coming that are coming up. You you can understand and talk through the intricacies of these situations. Russell is doing what Russell has always done. If I was to tell you, hey, your job or your career is on the line, act like it. What does that even mean? Am, are you now supposed to be shaking in your boots? Are your fingers supposed to be quivering when you grab the mic? Because you know that based off what you say next is, is a die, do or die moment for your career. Mm. Like a guy, one of the greatest quarterbacks we have ever seen in Peyton Manning said, pressure is what you feel when you don't know what the hell you're doing right? Russell Wilson knows what he's doing. He's doing what he always has done. I listened to Paul George go from, you know, Indiana to OKC to the Clippers. Now he's in Philly. And guess what he's done? He's done the same thing every single time. Hey, I really want to end my career here in OKC. Hey, I really want to end my career here in LA. <laughs> and then he leaves and he's like, man, I felt like I was on the B team when I was with the Clippers, right? Like these guys, they're going to go to new teams, uh, it's the new day, day and age of sports. You don't see the longevity of the Jerry Rices or the Emmett Smiths. And even those guys played on new teams at the end of their careers. Russell is trying to do what he can do to connect with his teammates and the Pittsburgh Steelers fan base. What is so wrong about that? I, I, my, my question to guys like Stephen A., former colleague, a lot of respect for him. Appreciate the call after everything that went down, my brother. Um, what do you want him to act like? Like, saying that he should act like his career is on the line what does that look like because i know as a quarterback you can't walk in the building on eggshells like your career is on the line you have to save face and let them know that you are unfazed confident and that you believe you're the guy for the job i don't think russell wilson has done anything but that in his time in pittsburgh he's been confident calm down everybody nothing's doing nothing nothing to see here we're just all competing having a good time he believes he's the best quarterback for the job. He's going to go out and either prove it or he's not going to prove it. But I don't understand what more he's supposed to do to prove to us that he doesn't know that his job's on the line. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.